What up, boys? So I've been promising for a little while to do a few different guides uh, on Classic Priest. And I'm going to start out with just in the natural progression, I'm going to start out with leveling talents. Um, what to t what to spec, what's going to be the fastest to level up with, and uh, the reasons for that. So why you're taking those talents, just so you kind of get a bit more of an understanding about why you're doing what you're doing instead of just copy-pasting a fucking talent spec without any kind of knowledge gained. Um, that way you can learn and figure out shit for yourself in future. Um, and then nobody will visit my channel because they'll have no need to and I'll die of starvation. Uh, anyway, so up to, up to 42. Uh, and I'll tell you why up to 42 in a second, but up to 42 you want to go for... We did it. We made it. Okay, so... Uh, up to 42, you basically want to go for stuff in this order. So you want to start out with one spec. And there's a lot of debate over one spec versus spirit tap. And one spec is better. Everyone that says spirit tap is wrong. Uh, there's no debate over it. You get your wand. At, if you're not on a fresh server, you get your lesser wand at five. Uh, unless you're completely poor and have no money whatsoever. And then you, you buy it as soon as you possibly can because the lesser magic wand will make everything so much smoother for you. You're going to have a, so much better time uh, the moment you get a wand. So you can actually have lesser wand from level 5, uh, and that will be used all the way up to 13 when you get your greater magic wand, which you definitely will be able to afford. They're like 20 silver now or something stupid. You, you'll be able to afford it. Uh, just don't don't spend your cash on pointless shit, and you'll be able to buy it. This is, like, this is the priority for you to get these two wands. So... From ten to fifteen, or I guess fourteen, you'll be you'll be putting points in this. Uh, then next you go spirit tap, and the reason spirit tap is second and not first is because when you're wanding that early on, your wand is so much of your damage that you don't go oom anyway. Uh, you you very very rarely go oom uh, in as soon as you get a wand essentially, uh, and you can just bang out. You know, cheeky mind blast once you're level 10, or you can do like a smite into dot into wand, and that's like it's gonna kill stuff fast. Um, but you know, what, I'll that's a different story. We're not talking about spell rotations or anything now. Um, I've got a huge document on death blind on spell rotations, so if you're interested in that, I'll put it a link in the description. Um, and potentially I'll do a video on it. I don't know if it's enough content for a video or if it's if it's better just left to uh, to text, but yeah, we'll see. Um, but back to the matter of hand, we're, we've gone one spec, we've gone Spirit Tap. Um, spirit Tap starts becoming valuable uh, at around level 15 or so, maybe a little later even, 16. The mobs, mobs start getting a bit beefier and you start ended up putting more spells into them. Um, when when wand, I mean it's still really good, but it falls off a little bit, obviously. So you get your spirit tap second, and then you whack one into shadow focus. Now your reason you're only putting one into it, and debatably you can put two, but I'll, I'll say why I don't in a sec. So the reason I put one into it is because on mobs the same level as you, you've got ninety six percent chance to hit them, so it's four percent chance to resist. So what taking this talent will do is make it so that you've got ninety-eight percent chance to hit them. So if you look at it from just the numbers point of view, if you've got ninety-six percent chance to hit, if you do ninety-six shadow of pains, uh, sorry, if you do a hundred shadow of pains, ninety-six of them will hit, four of them will resist, um, on average. So if you take this talent, half as many spells are going to resist. So you're literally halving the number of resists you get just with one talent point on your shadow spells, which is pretty useful. Um, and debatably, the next point does the same thing. Uh, you can't actually get up to 100% hit. It will only ca it will cap out at 99%. There will always be a 1% chance to resist. But again, it's halving the number of resists that you're getting. So the value of the talent is essentially the same. So I've been thinking about this for a little while. Uh, but for now, I only go one because I want to rush down here as fast as I can to get to inner focus. And the reason inner focus is so good, and I'll talk about these talents again in a sec, the reason inner focus is so good is because you can use this to top yourself off to heal up 
Um, so you inner focus heal essentially most of the time, and that will top you um, nine times out of ten. But because it reduces the mana costs of your next spell by 100%, that spell no longer causes the five second rule. Now, if you don't know what the five second rule is, it's essentially when you cast a spell, for the next five seconds, all of your spirit regen is halted. You get no regen from spirit anymore. Uh, and this is important, uh, especially for priests while leveling, because you want to be gearing spirit while you're leveling up. Everything spirit as much as you possibly can. Uh, because spirit tap doubles your spirit after you kill a mob that yields experience, which is huge. This is like your 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 big cheese, you know, for leveling. This is why priests work for leveling and why they're pretty smooth to level, because you don't have to drink that often due to this. If you have a correct rotation, you should be able to preserve your mana for a long time. Now, obviously, if you're stacking spirit, and this is doubling your spirit, then you're going to have a lot of spirit after you kill something. You don't want to then yield it redundant or... As it says on Spirit Tap, you don't want to halve that uh, by putting in a cast right after you've you've killed a mob and you're low uh, to top yourself off. So this is where Inner Focus comes in handy uh, and allows you to heal up without negating that effect so you continue to get your full amount of regen for as long as possible. Um, and then the next thing is, is, is in a similar vein, you take three in Meditation because even if you do... Um, you do cast now, you do put yourself in the five second rule. 15% uh, of your spirit will still continue to give you regen. So because we got this early over the course of leveling, this is going to actually add up to quite a lot of mana. And mana that you're getting for free is mana that you don't need to get from drinking, which means you spend more time grinding, which is, means you level faster, essentially. So it's good to get this early. Um, if we took two in Shadow Focus then we'd be getting these one point later. And one level later at level 29 is about an hour, an hour and a half of leveling. It's not it's not trivial. So, you know, an hour and a half extra um, of each of these things is, is, is good. So that's why we only take one here. Uh, then after we do this up to here in Discipline, uh, I've toyed around with continuing down into Divine Spirit, and I've toyed around with, with going Holy first. I've toyed around with a bunch of stuff, and I'll talk about that afterwards. I want to finish up the spec first. After we go into Meditation, we take five into Holy Spec, which is okay. It's nothing special. Uh, if you feel like you're dying, or you're pulling too much mobs, or you're not completely confident, you can actually take two in Healing Focus, and then three in Holy Specialization. If you're confident you're not making mistakes with your killing, uh, and, and you're feeling safe, you're not dying then you can just put five in Holy Specialization. It's just a raw, you know, more of a damage increase. Uh, you shouldn't have to be healing while you have mobs on you. If you do, it means you pull too much. And if you pull too much, it means you're not killing efficiently and you're going to go oom faster. So we're planning a build around ideal gameplay. We go five out of five Holy Spec. The reason the reason we want this, not for the, the crit itself, it's okay, but we want this. This is the, the, the talent we really want. Half a second... Uh, cast time off smite holy fire great heal heal basically your heals are faster and your openers are faster because generally you want to by this level you'll be doing probably a holy fire into smite into mind blast um into dot into wand and the dot comes last because wand has a one second or so delay before it goes off and this means that if you land the dot at the same time as the mind blast then the dot global is essentially rendered irrelevant because the, the wand would have taken a second anyway and the dot doesn't actually create any extra global for the wand. So you essentially, in terms of raw DPS, you get a free dot off. Uh, again, there's way more explanation of that on Deathblind. I'll put a link underneath. I don't want to go into it too detailed because I'm just going to get sidetracked and we're talking about talents. Um, but yeah, there's a reason for it. There's, there's other options for doing a dot earlier as well, but it's, it's complicated takes a little bit of math to work out so we take the divine fury now because we want to be putting a bit more cast damage into mobs we're, we're around level 40 and ones tend to fall off ones don't stay really strong forever at the start of leveling they're really really strong but by the time you get to about level 40 the ones actually don't scale as well in terms of dps numbers as your spells do so because of this, it means we need to cast generally an extra spell on mobs to kill it a bit quicker. Um, so this talent then gains more value. 
we're saving essentially a second per mob plus whatever time we save when we when we heal up. <coughs> Generally, I try to heal up with heal. Uh, I play dwarf, so desperate prayer does the same thing as in, in a focus. I try to rotate in a focus with desperate prayer uh, as much as possible, and use that as my my kind of soul soul healing abilities. Uh, I generally try to avoid Renew without healing um, on gear. Renew is actually about as efficient as a flash heal. So heal is much more efficient and a better option. The only time you want to Renew is if you're on the move and you're not going to be using that mana anytime soon. You're going to go back to full mana. Then you can Renew. You save some time on, on movement there. So this is kind of the, the finished build to, to 39. Now the last two talents are optional. You can put them in Imp Pain if you find that your pain is falling off before mobs die. Or you can put them into shadow focus, and with three of three or five shadow focus, you can actually you'll actually be capped out to ninety nine percent on mobs up to two levels above you. Um, so it will allow smoother killing of higher level mobs if you run into those instances. Um, so that's kind of the the finished build to forty one. Now. The reason I go I go for the build in this order. First of all, I, I don't go shadow at all. The early points in shadow are really bad, other than spirit tap and and obviously one point in shadow focus. Uh, the only things really that gain any value in shadow are shadow weaving. Um, which early on, if that's the only point you're getting, is this is probably the worst one out of the three. Then you've got darkness and shadow form, uh, and these two these two are the main ones. So early on, the, the talents actually don't bring much value. Your, your targets are dying before pain expires anyway. Blackout isn't really needed. This does nothing. Uh, you only really put one point in Shadow Focus. You don't put all your points in that. Mind Flay early on is really weak and inefficient compared to Smite and Holy Fire. Improved Mind Blast is one of the worst talents ever. Uh, and then you've got Imp Fear and Silence. Silence is nice for stopping heal mobs, but it's not a reason to go a whole spec and forego all the good stuff in these talent trees. Um, Vamp Embrace, same reasoning. You don't really need Shadow Reach uh, because Mind Flayer is low range anyway. Uh, Imp Vamp Embrace is, is generally considered bad. Same with Imp Fade. Don't need them. So early Shadow, I'd say, is, is a, a straight write-off. Right off. Anyone that's that's leveling with Shadow is, is running it down. Um, so then you've got the options of going, okay, you can go full Holy, you can go full Disc. Or you can start with Disc and then Holy, or you can start with Holy and Disc and go for these sort of hybrid builds. Now, I tried each of them on beta, and the problem with going full holy, you have nice damage, you end up getting Searing Light, but when you look at it realistically, you're spending five extra points on stuff that you don't really need. You've got Imp Renew, Spell Warding, Holy Nova, Blessed Recovery, and Inspiration. Most of these are not good for leveling. You're spending five points on those to get to Searing Light for 10% more damage. If Searing Light was here, 100% a take, super valuable for two points. But because it's down here, it makes it not really worth it. It's seven points for 10% damage. They can be better spent on, on other stuff, regen, stuff like that in, in disc. Um, now, going full disc uh, felt good. You got a good bit of regen. You get down to Divine Spirit. But the issue then comes is you you when you get to around level 35, 35 to 40, that sort of range, the mobs get a bit tankier because your wand falls off. It's not as strong anymore. And your spells become more of the a higher percentage of the damage on the mob. So for that reason, you kind of want this stuff. It buffs your spells a little bit and it's going to give you an easier time killing. So then you get the option, okay, you're going to go to meditation, you're going to split like this. But which order did you go for it in? Well, you take one spec early anyway. So my reasoning is you want the regen for as long as possible. You don't need the faster killing early. So it makes sense to rush for the regen and go for the faster killing later when you actually need it. So that's why we've ended up with this kind of ordering in this talent spec. And I honestly believe this is the best spec up to 40, 42 uh, that you can go. Now at 40 or 42, you want to respec. It really depends on if you have a shadow wand. And the reasoning for that is because shadow weaving and shadow form both increase the damage of a shadow wand. If you have a shadow wand, so either the the uh, the one from Black Fathom Depths, um, or uh, Rod of Sorrow, I believe it's called from the Arathi Elites, they're both decent shadow wands. Or potentially you can get, I think, an Umbral wand off the auction house is a good shout. Uh, 
If you can't get any of those, at 41 you can get Blackbone Wand, uh, which is a shadow wand from the vendor in any capital city. And it does about 35 DPS, uh, but no one goes to, to town at an odd level. If you're going to town at an odd level, you're not leveling efficiently because you're going to have to come back at 42 to train your skills. So you go to town at 42, you pick up pick up your wand, unless you have an option for another shadow wand at 40, in which case you're going to respec at 40. But we'll, for the sake of argument, we'll do 42 here. Obviously, 40 is, is going to be um, very, very similar. So you want to take these points. This is this is your respec, right? There's no no value in the ordering here. Now, I tried with Shadow Reach, and the reason I don't like Shadow Reach is what happens is you Mind Blast, you Pain, that's your opener, and then you jump away during the Pain glo Global to get some more range on the mob. Now, if you have Shadow Reach, what happens is your Mind Flayer is now out of range, and you have to wait a little bit, so you have wasted time. If you don't have Shadow Reach, it works out nicely, and even with Shadow Reach, you can't get two Mind Flays in before the mob hits you. The mob will hit you and clip the last tick of the second Mind Flayer, and that will happen regardless of Shadow Reach or not. So for that reason, I think Shadow Reach doesn't actually bring any value, um, and I think the three points in Blackout are nicer. Now, you're down to Darkness, Easy Take, and Shadow Form. So that's your respec at 40, if you're 40, or if you're 42, you respec to this. Uh, and that's, again, entirely reliant on if you have a Shadow Wand already. If you don't have a Shadow Wand, you go and get one at 42 from the from the town or auction house if Umbral ones are available and cheap. Now, from here on out, it's pretty standard. You just finish out your wand spec, finish out in shield, martyrdom. Um, ordering on this is debatable, whichever, whichever you prefer. Martyrdom is nice for if your, uh, your mind flare is going to get clipped. Um, this will actually allow you to uh, stop that happening occasionally if it crits you, if you're lucky. Then obviously inner focus, meditation, one in imp, powered shield. And then you can either go five in mental agility, which I like, or you can go three in imp in a fire and two in mental agility. I personally prefer mental agility. I think it's I think it's stronger. Now this kind of build uh, assumes that you're not doing any dungeons. If you're planning on doing dungeons from um either SM or Zulfaric. I, I believe if you have a decent group for SM, it's faster than questing. Uh, if you do, can do big pulls, you can um, do some decent AoE pulls, stuff like that. Then SM, I believe, especially once you get to Cath, is going to be faster than questing. If you have a bad group, it's going to be worse than questing. So be very careful with going with randoms. Um, if you do go with randoms, maybe do a quest run. The quests for SM aren't that great. So potentially skip SM in that case. If you do decide to go SM, at that point, you're going to be going the normal leveling spec anyway. Um, so you don't need to worry too much about talents. Once you get to 40 or 42, you need to think, am I going to go Zulfaric? Now, Zulfaric is probably the best instance for the whole of the leveling experience. It's, uh, it's a big, big, big chunk of experience. You can get like double, almost triple questing XP rates in there if you have a good group. Uh, if you know the pulls, you do good pulls um, with two mages, warrior, um, and then priest, and then potentially either a double healer with another paladin or a warlock for more AoE. Um, you can do some big pulls in there and get get like 80 plus K XP an hour, no problem. Uh, and then obviously you can do the quests in there as well, which is going to boost you on one run as well. Now, if you think you're going to do that, probably don't respec. Stay with... Um, the, your, your original spec that you respect from at 42 or 41. Um, yeah, sorry, 42, what am I saying? Stay with that and run with that until you finish Zulfaric, which is going to be, you're going to probably finish grinding Zulfaric around 50, 51 maybe. Uh, and then at that point, you can then, for the next five, six levels up to 56, you want to be running, doing all the quests. So you can do like Searing Gorge, Ungaro, Western Plague Lands, a bit of Eastern Plague Lands. All that jazz is really good experience rates. Like, really, really good. Um, so you definitely want to be shadow for that. And this is going to be the first time you're respecking, so it's going to be cheap. Um, and you're not going to have to worry about that. Then when you get to 56, you can respec back to some sort of healing spec. It's entirely possible to heal as shadow. Um, you still have all the regen stuff. The only thing you're going to be missing is 
You're going to be missing Divine Fury. This is like one of the main ones. And you're going to be missing Improved Healing. So you're going to be a little less efficient. And your Great Heals are going to be a little slower. But you can still completely completely heal these, these dungeons. It's just going to feel slightly worse for you. Uh, but it's not going to impact the experience rates as such. You're just going to have to be more on the ball with your healing. Um, and it's just going to feel worse to play. Um, but again, that's personal choice. I would I would recommend recommend uh, I would recommend respecking back to fucking why can I say that respecking back to healing at 56 and then from 56 to 60 you can just dungeon grind and farm your prebis uh, and I will do another video on prebis as well so that you know what kind of dungeons are good to farm what you're trying to aim for what items are good um, and I've rambled on for way too long, so I need to uh, to call it here, I think. If you do have any other kind of questions or wonderings about the talents, feel free to, uh, to leave them in the comments. Um, as I said a few times, I've posted a lot of the thought process and reasoning on Deathblind. There's a priest uh, post on there. I will link it. Um, so if you're uh, curious to learn more, that's definitely the place to go to. Um... Yeah, I think, I think that's everything I wanted to say. I think I've gone way too long over time, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful. And uh, see you later.